Let's uh, look at the relationship between D value and the first order rate constant K. Now, you know from chemical kinetics that if the disappearance of a species A follows first order kinetics, then the rate equation is expressed as dA over dt equals minus K times A where A is the concentration, T is the time, and K is the first order rate constant. Now, based on experimental evidence, many microorganisms, when they are subjected to heating, they follow the first order rate kinetics of destruction. That means that instead of A, if we use N, for number of microbial survivors in a suspension that is subjected to heating, we can write the first order equation as dn over dt equals minus k times n. So let's integrate this equation and see if we can develop a relationship with the d value. So we have dn over dt equals minus k times n. We will first separate the variables to solve this differential equation. So the variables are time and the number of microorganisms. And we have dn over n equals minus k times dt. Then we integrate both sides. And of course, k is a constant, so we can keep it outside the integral. And we will put in the limits for integration. So at time 0, we have the population n0. And at some time t, the population is n. The integral of dn over n is natural log of n, which is then evaluated at the limits of integration, n0 and n. And that equals minus k times t minus 0. Uh, the integral of dt is t. So for the left-hand side, we have natural log of n minus natural log of n0 equals minus k times t. And we can rewrite the left-hand side as natural log of n over n0. And that equals minus k times t. Now recall that d value that we saw in another tutorial is the time of heating for 90% reduction in the existing number of microorganisms. Or that means 10% of the microorganisms will survive during that time of heating that's equivalent to the D value. So if the time of heating is D minutes, then at the end of that time, N will be equal to 0 0.1 times n0, since 10% of the existing microorganisms will survive. So we can go ahead and then write for n in our expression that we obtained before. So we have natural log of 0 0.1 times n0 divided by n0 equals minus k, and we replace time t with d. Now n0 cancels out on left hand side so we have natural log of 0 0.1 equals minus kd the natural log of 0 0.1 is minus 2.303 so that equals minus k times d so d is 2.303 divided by k or we can write k equals 2.303 divided by d so we can use these expressions for D or K to convert one value into another.